Alright, welcome back. This is Serial Snacks, and today I'm going to show you how to install the so Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders for Minecraft 1.4.2. And at the end of the video, I'll show you what it looks like with different texture packs so you get an idea of what this is all about. Now, first things first, I think I want to just make sure that I give out the thanks to the right people. Uh, Karyonix on the Minecraft.net forums has done a great job of updating this Shaders 2.1.6 file. And he's kept it up to date so now it's ready for 1.4.2 almost right when it's coming out so uh, the other thing is of course Sonic Ether has done a lot of work he's the one that's created these to begin with and then there's Dax Nitro who's also uh, was really the original person to do all this and then of course the people with the texture packs Ovo's texture pack the faithful texture pack and this R3D craft was adjusted by Sildor to work with this so just some thanks out there and I'm gonna start talking about how to install this now what I did is I actually allowed my Minecraft to install the 1.4.2 jar directly. F you know, if, when you go into the game, I forced it to update. The reason being is when I install the 1.4.2 off the website, it keeps asking me to update actually in the program. So the best way to do it is just let your Minecraft update. Then I copied it into this folder over here because for your first step, you really just want to make sure you've got a Minecraft or original file here. And what I like to do is copy it and just make one called Minecraft because you're going to be copying it back into your folder. You have to copy it back into your Minecraft folder before you install the shaders. But first things first, you have to install Optifine. So now if you look at my description, you'll see links for all of these files. And you just want to make sure you have all these. If you're looking at my screen, you'll see the first big step is installing Optifine. So I've got the 1.4.2 version 7, that may be higher version by the time this is all said and done, but extract that there and then what I do is I just use WinRAR which is of course a program that allows you to edit your RAR files and your JAR files so let's delete the meta.inf thing this is just typical Optifine installation so if you haven't done that uh, I'd read up on it just so you kind of get the ins and outs and then you want to add the Optifine file so what I do is control A to select them all and then just do OK and it and then OK again and they're all added to your jar file. Now you can close it out. Now what I like to do is then take this modified Minecraft file and put it into your Minecraft folder, wherever that may be. Now make sure you have backed it up because you, you can really cause problems and that's what I've done here. I've actually backed it up. So there we go, Minecraft. Now the next step is to install the shaders. Now the first thing you want to do, you have to get these files from this particular folder. So we'll, we'll extract the Sonic Ethers version 10 and then we'll extract Karyonix's shader installer here that he's modified. And what you need to do is go into the, the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable Shaders folder and copy the shaders out of it. So there's actually a folder in here called shaders only and you do control A again Control C or copy or right click or however you copy normally and then go into this installer that Karyonix has made and you're gonna have to go pretty deep into it so the first folder shaders mods shaders contents files shaders and then paste these in there and they'll override them all so you wanna if you have Windows 7 you just wanna do this for the next 17 uh, conflicts click copy and replace so what this is doing is just modifying his installer. So you want to go back to the beginning here. Now all of this will be listed in the description. So if you have any questions about what steps I did and how I did it, please let me know. So the next step really is to install the shaders themselves. So we'll go back in here. And what I like to do is click on this inst file. And I like to run as administrator just to avoid any <laughs> Windows 7 entanglements, I guess as we could say. So run as administrator. And now one thing you need to make sure of is are you targeting the right file? And right here you can see I'm targeting my minecraft.jar file in my Minecraft folder. So you just want to make sure of that because otherwise it'll fail and it doesn't necessarily be very clear. So click install. Installation complete. Now you always want to view the log because it will f if it fails it will tell you in the log. And a lot of times people have blue textures and the reason is is because it failed and they didn't look at their their log here. So make sure you look at the log and you can see mine was successfully installed. So we are good. We can close this out. So now for all intents and purposes we're done. Um, we can now take a texture pack that's supported for shaders and put it in our texture pack folder and it'll work. However, so Ovo's Rust Rustic is one of them. 
Uh, I put a link for this R3D craft, which is adjusted by Sildor, into my description. And um, th those are the two that really I've got that are supported. Now, if you want to set this up, your jar file, so that it can be supported by other texture packs, then I'll show you that in a second. Let me show you the R3D craft and the Ovo's Rustic really quick. And then when we come back, I will show you how to modify your jar file to work with other texture packs. However, you will lose the bump mapping capability, so just keep that in mind. So let's go take a look at those two texture packs that are already configured for this. Okay, so this first texture pack I'm looking at is Ovo's Rustic Texture Pack, and the really amazing thing about this one is that it has the bump mapping feature for this new version 10 of the unbelievable shaders. And you can see that in the grass, see how it's kind of bumpy looking on the ground? The dirt has it as well. You can kind of see it in this Millennium Falcon schematic that I imported. You can see it actually takes away from the ship in a way because now it looks like it's built out of a rock. If you can see the strange bump mapping on the corners here, pretty impressive. And you can see it, of course, in the cobblestone and the obsidian down here in the portal. It's just kind of blocky. It's kind of just, it, it almost looks 3D-ish. It's very neat. I like the that kind of pack that is on that. I'm missing some textures in this pack for some reason or another, but you get the idea, and you can tell the shaders are working, and it looks pretty amazing. Of course, you see the water, all the stuff. Let's check out the dock here. I always like the dock. It always looks pretty neat. Yeah. Now, see, you can see this, this particular block wasn't supported, but pretty cool. Okay, so let me come back, and I will show you the other texture packs that I have. Let's see here. Let me just save and quit the title, and I'll show you. Let's go in here. I've got a bunch of texture packs, but the other one that's been edited was ed edited by Sildor on the forums, R3D Craft. So let's take a look at this one. Now this one's more of a realistic version of the actual Minecraft texture pack. So you can see here, it obviously you lose the bump mapping. In a way, I, I like this type of texture pack better though, because I feel like it, it's more true to it. The bump mapping is a little bit disarming to some extent but you know really to each his own so if you like that bump mapping then stick with ovos or one of the other texture packs in the meantime just enjoy the amazing shaders that we have here so uh, let me do I think what's nighttime uh, let's do nighttime I forget the exact time but I think it's well the sun's setting there regardless you get the you get the idea this this is actually um, dusk and I like dusk too see how it's getting darker but you can actually see the torches are starting to light up over here and actually they're underneath the Millennium Falcon over here as well yeah there's the lighting over there so pretty impressive okay so now what I want to show you is well that's it I think we'll, we'll, we'll jump back and I'll show you how to modify the minecraft.jar to allow any texture pack that you want Okay, so we're back now to look at how you can modify your jar file to work for any texture pack and not just the Ovo's Rustic and the R3D Craft. Now this will cause you to lose that bump mapping feature that I was talking about. However, you may want to do that just because you want to use your texture pack that you like. So let's go to your bin and what you want to do is do the same thing you've done with Optifine and other things. You open it up in WinRAR uh, and then you just, what you do is you add and you should have this file that I've linked and it is called uh, add-on for the th for the Sonic Ethers Unbelievable version 10. So with this add-on, you go in here and you just take all these files and you just add them into the base directory of your Minecraft.jar. Now this will allow you to use any texture pack you want. So let us go take a look right now at the default 32 by 32, which is like a faithful pack that somebody's created that doesn't have any support for the textures, and look how it looks uh, with the shaders. So let's go check it out. Okay, so now that we've modified the Minecraft.jar to use any texture pack we want, I'm going to select the default 32 by 32, which is actually, it's the faithful texture pack that's out there in Minecraft forums. And really, it's just any texture pack will do the exact same thing what I'm going to do here. But let me show you what this one looks like. Now, this texture pack has not been modified to work with the unbelievable shaders. However, since we modified the jar file, it now does. So let's do time set zero, morning, you can get an idea. Now look. So pretty amazing, you know. You don't need you don't need to have a texture pack that's modified. You can modify your jar directly, like I showed you, and you'll still get the same effect and same impact that you do now. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it helps you guys. I know a lot of people have questions about this stuff, and a lot of people are struggling getting it installed. It's pretty impressive once you do get it installed, but just stick with it. You know, if you have all blue textures, usually it's because it didn't install correctly. 
you know, if the water isn't working, it's usually something to do with the texture pack or something like that. So just stick with it. You know, I, I, I've spent hours trying to get this thing to work and I've finally gotten it to work. It is not an easy task, so don't feel like, you know, you've messed up or not smart because you can't do it because it really is not an easy thing to do. So just, just stick with it, ask questions, go to the Minecraft forums, check out their forum and ask questions there. You know, there hasn't been an official release from Sonic Ether for 1.4.2 yet, so this is all kind of cobbled together, and it just makes it more difficult, but it is doable. So, hope you guys enjoyed. Please like if you did, please subscribe if you did, and I will catch you later.